Welcome back to DesignSmith. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this cool repeated text technique in Illustrator. Before we get started, please subscribe to support the channel. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is move this right over here. And now I'm going to lay down some type and we are going to do this for the band Echo Ladies. If you've never heard their album Pink Noise, definitely give it a listen. It is awesome for windows down on a sunny day. All right, so let's set this to the size that we want. And I'm going to go ahead and center this. And I'm just going to place it right here for now. I'm not going to worry too much about the final placement because we obviously have to do some adjustment to get this same type of placement here. We're using different words as the original poster, so we obviously have to play around a little bit. All right, so there are two different ways that you can do this. And one of them is you can go up to Object, Transform, and Transform Each. And then you can enter in your scale. We can say something like 90%. Say that we want to move it down like maybe by an inch or an inch and a half, and leave everything here the way that it is. And then you can hit copy. And then you can just keep hitting Command D over and over again. So that's one way to do it. However, you'll notice that you have to do it manually every single time. And just like everything else in Illustrator, there's always another way. So we're gonna go up here to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. Now at first glance, this looks like a very similar box to what we had before. However, the key difference in this one is we have a Copies section right here. So we can actually see the effect before we apply it. So I'm gonna type in 90% and we're gonna move it down one and a half inches. And now we're just gonna add in 10 copies. And not only does it show us what it looks like, but you'll notice that the spacing is much more consistent here. And let's take a look at the original poster. Not that we're trying to copy this, but when you're learning how to do a specific technique, it's best to mimic your example exactly. So let's type in nine copies for a total of 10. And you'll notice that as we get down to the bottom, it gets much more dramatic. So all we have to do is lower our percentage. So if we do something like 80%, then it's progressively gonna get smaller and smaller. And also, just in case you want to do this, you can change your reference point. So if we change it to the top middle, it's going to give it a little bit less space. If we change it to the bottom middle, it's going to give us a little bit more space. And you can also change the point of reference to the left and to the right. But for this video, we're just going to stick to the center. And let's hit OK. All right, now that we've got this in place, you might be tempted to just make a copy of it just like this and rotate it. However, you'll notice that it's copying the exact same properties and it's going the same direction as it did before. And in this case, we don't want that. We want it to mimic our original poster right here on the right side. So now we're gonna select this and go up here to Object and Expand Appearance. This transforms the instance of the text into individual pieces of text. So now we can make a copy and rotate it just like this. And even though we expanded the appearance, it's still grouped together. So we can go over here and make another copy and go over here and make one more. And then from this point, it's just getting it placed exactly where you want it. So I'm gonna work on that. All right, so we've got our placement here exactly the way that I want it. And now what I wanna do is take this into Photoshop because we're gonna do something very different. I'm gonna select all of this and copy it. And I'm gonna paste it as a smart object and hit okay. And we're just gonna put it right here in the center of the page. And I'm gonna go back to that in just a second but I want to lay down some other type real quick. All right, so now I'm gonna add a solid color background layer here in Photoshop, and I'm gonna make it like a really nice bright pink, something like this, and I'm gonna make our main text white, and we'll do the same thing to this one up here. All right, and now I wanna add a radial blur to this to make it looks like the type is flying towards me. So with my Echo Ladies layer selected, I'm gonna hit Command or Control J, and that's gonna make a copy of that layer. I'm gonna name this one top and this one bottom. And we're gonna make sure that we have the bottom layer selected, and we're gonna go up to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. I'm gonna change this to a zoom and best quality, crank the amount all the way up to 100. Now we're gonna hit OK. And now we've got that really cool blur effect. And if you want it to be even more dramatic, you can hit Command J again, and then run the same effect again. And that doesn't make it exponentially more dramatic, but it's definitely reaching to the edge of the poster, and I like that. All right, I'm pretty happy with that, and now we're gonna add a layer up here to the top, and I'm gonna call it grain. I'm gonna hit Shift and Delete to fill that with 50% gray here. And now we're gonna go up here to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and I'm gonna crank up grain all the way up, size all the way up, and roughness all the way up. Remember, the name of this album is Pink Noise, so it fits. And up here, I'm gonna go up here to the vignette, and give it like a negative 25. And hit OK. And we've got some pretty heavy grain right here. I'm gonna zoom in all the way to 100%. And then let's cycle through our blending modes here to see what we like best. A 
Okay, I think I like Color Burn. However, we do need to make an adjustment to this because it's not the same pink as the album cover itself. And another thing that we need to do that I should have done earlier is change the actual text color because we don't see the grain overlaid on this white. So let's go in here to our Echo Ladies top and we'll do the same thing to the other ones here in a minute. So let's double click on this thumbnail and that's gonna take us back into Illustrator. And now we can select everything, double click on the type. I'm gonna bring this up to like 95% white and then I'll hit save. Now we'll go back into Photoshop and it's gonna update all of these layers here. Okay, so it had to update the colors of all three of those layers because they were all copies of each other and it had to update the effects. However, we're not seeing a difference here and why is that? Well, it's because we still have that color overlay added to those three blocks of type. So we need to go in and remove those. So we'll uncheck color overlay here and do the same thing with the other two. Okay, so now all of those text layers have the 90% white and we can see the effects. And now we'll just do the same thing to the top text. Okay, so now that this color has been updated, you'll notice that it's a lot darker and that's because we have that vignette on that grain layer. So let's double click this and go back in here and we're gonna raise this up to about 97%. All right, that's looking a lot better. All right, so now I'm gonna add a slight blur to this. We're gonna go to blur and Gaussian blur. One pixel is enough for the small type. And now we'll do the same thing to our Echo Ladies here. This time I'm gonna do two pixels. And I think that we're fine. We don't have to add it to the bottom layers. And then the last change that we'll make is just brightening up this pink a little bit because it's not quite the same as the album cover. Okay, I've pasted the album cover here just for reference. And we wanna make sure that we keep this above the grain layer. And now we're gonna select the grain layer because we're gonna add a hue and saturation layer right below the album cover. All right, so we're gonna adjust the hue a little bit. It's going a little bit more in the red direction than the pink direction. And then we need to turn up the lightness and then turn down the saturation. And then just keep playing with it until you get something that's somewhat close. All right, that's looking good. And now we can delete that layer. All right, and here's our finalized poster, our Echo Ladies Pink Noise promotional poster. I guess you could call it a promotional poster that was inspired from that one that I found on Pinterest. If you end up doing something similar using this technique, definitely let me know down in the comments. I'd love to take a look at it. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.